Hi, this is Kathy from Divining Perspective. Today I'm going to be doing a fast flip through of the Tarot Bernard Kickstarter um, by Celia Mellisville. I'm sorry if I said that name wrong. Um, you can see there's little embellishments on the deck or on the box. And it opens up and it has a string so you can easily pull your cards out. And it does say 82 cards, but three of the cards are just uh, definitions. So if you don't want to use the book, and then there's 79 cards out of the 82 that you can read with. So there's one extra card to read with. The guidebook is in English, and then if you flip it, it's in French too. So that's why you got that. And then um, has meanings, uh, descriptions, keywords and one thing to take note of is the symbol of the court card so page is going to be p knight is going to be kc for knight or cavalier um because it's the symbols for french and english version that's why it has the two letters queen is queen or reen i don't know if i said that right and then king or roy so kr something to keep in mind did confuse me a little bit at first so that's why I bring it up and then it has the meanings I think it's the English and French shortcuts first up is the suit of or actually the major arcana as you can see the there's two squiggly lines and they cross each other that's how you can tell it's the major arcana the backs are embellished as well it is not gilded so it's just plain sides and uh, let me show you real quick here the bend of it i will be shuffling the deck at the end just so you can see how it shuffles one thing i also noticed is it's a little bit bowed so it's not flat it's bowed a little bit probably can't see it very well on this but it came that way so um just something to keep in mind definitely still say get this deck it's very sweet lovely images so we'll go through the major arcana first This is the extra card, um, the white fox. It has a little heart at the bottom. Next up is the suit of uh, wands. And there's a little stick at the bottom. So that's how you know it's the wands. So the page, the knight, the queen, the queen does have a crown, just a little bit on the small side so it's hard to see or notice. And then the king, and the king, the other suits, the king and queens have crowns, but this king doesn't. 
And it threw me off before because I was like, what does the KR stand for? But that's for the King and the Rio. Next up is the suit of cups. And you get a little cup. So it's the two squiggly lines, but then there's extra lines and then a little um, stem for the cup of, or to signify the cup. Next up is the suit of swords. It, of course, has a little sword at the bottom so that you can tell it's the swords. Um, one thing uh, to note about this deck, and I think it's really a sweet touch, is, you know, some animal lovers, they don't really like the cards where it shows an animal being pierced by swords. Well, this one has a unique uh, take on it with just the shadows touching the animal. I thought that was a really sweet card. And last is the suit of pentacles, and then again, I'll shuffle the deck at the end as well. Right, and then I'll do a quick shuffle. I'm going to pause the deck or pause the video first. Okay, so here's the deck. I want to show you the thickness. Um, it's a pretty thick deck, and a little bit on the hard side for me to shuffle, <laughs> or try to at least get to show you how it shuffles. Um, but yeah, it shuffles fine. It is just a thicker deck, so. And then, I don't know if you can see a little bit better the... It, it kind of bows. But wonderful deck. Highly recommend it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.